This is the first video in a multi-part series that will show you how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac PC. This is hugely valuable in an education environment where you may have specific classes that require the use of PC software over Mac software. So here's how we do it. First of all, at our college, we have the DreamSpark Premium account that gives us legal access to Microsoft software and also the VMware account that does the same. So I've signed up for both and I'm ready to get started. I'm going to click on the email confirmation that I received for the VMware store and click on the link to the store. At that point, I simply need to sign in with the username and the password that was given to me. I don't like to store my passwords on the computer, so I'll say not now. <laughs> At this point in the product search, we're looking for a product called Fusion. So instead of having to look around, I'm going to type it into the search. And it's going to bring up the current version, which is VMware Fusion 8. Now, depending on when you watch the video, there may be a more current version that you need to use or a prior version, depending on your Mac OS. I'm going to go ahead and quickly add that to the cart. And then at this point, I can come up to my shopping cart and check out. What it's going to do is it's going to send me an email confirmation of the checkout. Make sure that you read these end user license agreements if you haven't already and accept the terms. It's going to go ahead and give you the information and you're ready to go. Come down here, make sure your first name, your last name, and your email is correct, and I'll proceed with the order. So confirmation has been sent to me, and at this point, I can click download the software. Now I'll choose download. And I choose download again. And as you can see, it's now downloading the software to my computer. I'm going to go ahead and pause this recording while it completes the download process. So once the software is finished downloads, we can go into our download folder here and see that the software is there and ready for install. So at this point, we've downloaded the software and we'll install it in the next video. Take care.